up y'all y'all know who it is y'all know what it is your boy jp comes out with another how to today we have a 2008 audi a4 and i'm going to show you how to take this radio out and install a double den if this is your first time tuning into the channel please consider subscribing these are the type of things that we do here car audio tutorials radio removals q a's all that good stuff and if you want to be a further supporter please hit that link in the description and become one of our patreon uh supporters now first thing you want to do is get you some of these keys and i will have these keys uh the links in the description i don't actually have two pairs of these if i did then i would use them but you want to go with this end right here so i'll show you the one that we have so we want to take this key have to see that little indention you want to put that at this top little hole right here and you hear that small little click so you want to take this come over here on this side listen for the click boom we want to do the exact same thing over here Boom. And we come over here and listen for that same click. Boom. Now, should be able to take that radio out just like that. You literally, all you need is the keys. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. All right, so finally got that antenna out. Then we come over here to the harness. You want to press in that little tab at the bottom. All right, guys, so we got that radio out. It's pretty simple. All you need is the keys, and I will have those links in the description so you can get this out yourself. But let me show you exactly what happens. So when you take this key and you stick it inside the little notch right here, when you come over here, this thing is going to actually go on the inside. And since that went in, that allows us to slide it out. In order to get your key out, you just want to press on this and... and slide your key out like that. All right, so now we got the radio out. Let's go ahead and get on our bench and get that dash kit prepped for our radio. What's up, y'all? So I'm actually right here at the test bench about to go ahead and get this dash prep. I will have all the links in the description for you guys. And if I can't find the links to the stuff, I will at least have the product model numbers uh, like the dash kit wire harness and all everything that I'm using for this vehicle. So this thing right here is very, very simple. Uh, one thing I like to do first is take the little trim plate off. And then I come in here. This is the dash here for the single and the double den. Since we're using the double den, we're going to go ahead and just cut that little bar out the middle. Um, if you were just replacing this with a single den radio, it comes with a pocket and just snaps into the bot, snaps into the bottom. But uh, we're not using that. So before we actually put the trim piece back on, uh, we want to go ahead and put these on. So you can see these are what we're actually going to be mounting to our stereo, and they have these little grooves, and we just want to kind of pressure fit them, kind of squeeze them together like I have over here. They do have a R for the right and a L for the left. So let's go ahead and put these on real quick. All right, now that we have those on, now we can put our trim kit back on. And now we can actually put this over our radio, get it lined up. So we're just gonna take our radio just like this push our dash kit around it just like that right there and then I'm gonna get this thing lined up kind of flush and use the deck screws to actually screw in to the side of the uh, radio all right so as you can see I just kind of have it lined up put one screw in here since this is the Sony radio it's kind of like an oversized single den I don't have any bottom screws just the top so one right here on the right one right here on the left this is exactly what it looks like and let's go ahead and get this thing wired up and get it back inside the car guys yeah, so we are back inside the car we have our radio wired up now this is your first time here you're probably thinking like dude you do not go over the wire and well the reason I do that is I have over 150 different radio removal and replacement videos and going over the wiring each every single time makes these videos longer than what I want them to be because I like everything short sweet straight to the point so the people who know how to wire up a radio you get what you need and the people who don't know how to wire up a radio I can give you a secondary source which I have because I made one video showing you how to wire up a radio that will be in the description and the cards will be inside the corner so if you don't know how to wire up a radio you have that video to let you know about these aftermarket wires and some people say well every car is different yes that is true every car is different but as long as you know 
what the aftermarket wire colors are then you're good to go because every car has a harness that goes to it unless it needs to be hardwired and for all my patreons out there make sure you check out the exclusive content that i have on this vehicle on the patreon page there will be some things that i will be talking about to help you out furthermore with this car if you want to be a part of that patreon community make sure you hit that link down in the description where we do exclusive content things that i won't actually show on youtube i show them on the patreon page and you also have chances to win some exclusive free giveaways like tools car audio all that good stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and push this thing back inside there so you can see what it looks like when it's all said and done all right guys so that's what it looks like when it's all said and done if you guys found any type of value in this video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment all that good stuff if you want to be a patreon supporter that links in the description till next time this is your boy jp signing out